Hello, this is Brian Fisher. I'm a software IT specialist for IBM Tivoli Business Automation for the Southeast region. And today we will cover how to install and configure IBM Tivoli Composite Application Manager for Response Time version 6.2, or ITCAM for RT for short. Part 1 The End User Response Time Dashboard on Windows Server 2003 Standard Edition SP2. Before we begin, we must verify that we have properly installed the ITM infrastructure. In order to install and configure this, please watch my previous videos. In order to verify this, we will open up our Manage Tivoli Services GUI and we will look at the status column of our agents. And we see they all have started here. So now we can begin the installation by locating our installation media. And use a response time dashboard. Go under Windows. Scroll down to setup.exe. And now we are presented with the installation wizard. So we will click next. It asks us to install prerequisites that are required for the end user response time dashboard. This includes the global secu security toolkit and IBM Java. Uh, it asks us what drive we want to install, C drive. And here we notice that we have the current versions installed for the global security kit and also for the IBM JRE and this was installed with the ITM infrastructure so we will not check either of those boxes and we will click next we must accept the software license agreement as seen here so click accept it asks us what features we would like to install we see the Tivoli Enterprise monitoring agents going to install the composite application manager for end user response time dashboard that's what we're doing we will also install the support for the for the Tivoli Enterprise monitoring server the TEMS We will also install support for the for the TAPS, the Tivoli Enterprise Portal Server. And finally, we will also install support for the Tivoli Enterprise Portal Desktop Client. And we'll click Next. It asks us what agents we'd like to configure for remote deployment. We're not going to configure any of this for remote deployment, so click Next. It says a previous installation has been detected and will be updated. That's good. So this is just a summary of, of what we selected to install. Uh, and it all looks good. So click next. So now we are prompted with uh, configuration options and we would like to configure the Tivoli Enterprise Portal, the TEP, install application support files for the TEMS, configure the agents to the TEMS, and launch the Tivoli Monitoring Services for additional configuration. So we'll leave them all checked. We'll click next. It asks us for the host name of the machine where the TEP server resides, 
and that is the correct host name. So we'll click next. It is now asking us how we want to configure the temps. We want to make it a hub temps and the temps name is correct hub underscore host name. We want to use the IP pipe protocol so we click OK. It asks us the host name that is correct and the port number will leave default. Click OK. It asks us where we want to add the application support to the temps. On this computer that's the temps location so click OK. What applications will we like to add support to? We're going to select all and then we'll click OK. It says application support is complete so click next. It asks us how we want to configure the connection to the temps. Uh, we want to use IP pipe and we're not connecting through a firewall so we won't check that. Click OK. And what host name is the temps? That's correct and the port number will leave default. Click OK. And now it's asking us what the configuration for the Tivoli Data Warehouse is. is what type of database? It's DB2, correct. Fully qualified host name is going to be ITCAM for RT dot demo dot IBM dot com default port will accept warehouse name ITM user we need to enter in the password for the ITM user This db2jcc.jar and db2jcc underscore license underscore cu.jar. So we will locate them. So setup's complete and we will not display the readme file. Click finish. And now we will verify that. Uh, the end user response time dashboard is up and running by looking at the Manage Tivoli Enterprise Monitoring Services GUI. And we see here the ITCAM end user response time is started. So we shall close this out. And we will start the Tivoli Enterprise Portal desktop to verify we can log in and see the end user response time dashboard. And here's the Tivoli Enterprise Portal. And we will go down the Enterprise in the Windows system, down to the ITCAM for RT, and click on end user response time. and we see we have agent messages and agent details so let's go under here verify we have data look at the dashboard so this concludes this video on how to install and configure ITCAM for RT version 6.1 end user response time dashboard I will encourage you to continue this tutorial by watching part two. And now I would like to thank you for your time. And you may contact me anytime at bfisher at us.ibm.com. Thanks.